Anna wants to celebrate her birthday by eating pizza with her friends. P boxes of pizza cost $40 total. Each box of pizza costs $8. Select all equations that describe this situation. So before I even look at that, let me at least try to construct one in my own brain. So P boxes of pizza cost $40. Each box of pizza cost $8. So one way that I could say, what would be the total cost of pizzas in terms of P? Well, it's going to be the number of boxes that I get times the cost per box. So it's going to be P times eight, or eight P is going, and the other way of saying that, eight, the total cost of my, box, of my pizza is eight P, or I could say it's $40. So eight P must be equal to $40. And we have that captured right here in this first equation. The number of pizza boxes is P. You multiply that times eight because it's eight dollars per box. That's going to be, that's my total cost of boxes, which I also know is going to be $40. So these two things must be equal to each other. Now anything else that I select really has to be the same thing as this first equation just manipulated a little bit. So over here I have 40 divided by eight is P. So there's a couple of ways to think about it. If I take the total amount that I spend on pizza, $40, and I divide by the cost per box, so if I divide by eight, that should give me the number of boxes. And that's what this is saying. Take my total cost, divide by my cost per box, and it should give me the number of boxes. Another way of thinking about it is, if you take both sides of this equation and divide both sides by eight, on the left-hand side, eight P divided by eight is P, and on the right-hand side, 40 divided by eight is, well, 40 divided by eight. And it doesn't matter if we wrote P equals 40 divided by eight or 40 divided by eight is equal to P. They're just saying that both of these quantities are equal. So this is also another way to describe the situation. Now let's think about this right over here. Eight divided by 40 is equal to P. Well, this is not consistent either with this statement or with some of the other things that we checked. Where on the left-hand side, we're taking the reciprocal, and on the right-hand side, we aren't. So these, these two things cannot be equivalent. Over here, we have 40 divided by P is equal to eight. So if I just said, hey, look, I spent $40 on, on pizza, and I bought P boxes, how much did each of those boxes cost? I would say, well, I would take 40 divided by P, to figure out how much each of those boxes cost, and then they tell us that that must be equal to eight, that each box equals eight. So this seems consistent with what we just read, and you can algebraically manipulate any of these top two to get to this one right over here. Right up here, if you divide both sides by P, on the left-hand side you have eight P divided by P, which would be eight, and on the right-hand side, 40 divided by P is just 40 divided by P, so it's the same exact thing. And the last one, you have P, is equal to eight times 40. Well, we already know that P is equal to 40 divided by eight, so it's definitely not going to be eight times 40. So that one does not, does not apply. So let's check our answer. We got it right. Let's do a couple more. Molly and Tori like to eat ice cream sandwiches. Molly ate five ice cream sandwiches and Tori ate n ice cream sandwiches in one week. They ate a total of 12 ice cream sandwiches together. Select all of the equations that accurately describe the situation. So Molly ate five, Tori ate n. So five plus n is the total that they ate. And they tell us that that must be equal to 12, that the total that they ate together is 12. So five plus n is 12. So we immediately see that one right over there. Now anything else that we check has to be consistent with five plus n is equal to 12, or it has to be a way to uh, algebraically manipulate from this to anything else that is true. So let's go one by one. So is n minus five equal to 12? So n minus five is going to be the difference between what Tori ate and Molly ate. And that's not going to be 12. Their sum is 12, so we're not gonna check that. Here we have 12 is equal to n minus five, which is an equivalent statement to this top one, which we already know is not true. All they did is swap both sides of this equality, so that's not true. Five minus n is equal to 12. Well, that's just the difference between Molly and Tori. And that's definitely not going to be equal to 12. The, the sum of the two is going to be equal. The sum of the two is going to be equal to 12. And then finally, well, we know this is right. And then this right over here, n plus five and five, this we already know that five plus n is equal to 12. Well, it's a completely equivalent statement to say that 12 is equal to n plus five. You're just swapping the left and right hand sides of the equality. So let's check our answer. Let's do one more. Mr. Herman's class is selling candy for a school fundraiser. The class got a total 
the uh, class has a goal of raising five hundred dollars by selling C boxes of candy for two dollars each. Write an equation that the students could solve to figure out how many boxes of candy they need to sell. So let's think about in terms of C how much money they would raise. So let's say they sell C boxes. For each box they get two dollars. So the total amount they're going to get is two times C, or we can even just write two C right over there. So this is the total amount that they're going to raise in terms of C. Now we know that the goal is to raise five hundred dollars. So we want to figure out at what C does the total amount that they raise does that equal five hundred? So this right here is the equation that the students could solve to figure out how many boxes of candy they need to sell. We check our answer, and of course to solve this, we're essentially saying two times C is equal to five hundred. So you might be able to solve it in your head. You might say two times what is five hundred, and you would get two hundred fifty. Or if you wanted to solve it a little bit more systematically, you just divide both sides by two. Two C divided by two is C. 500 divided by 2 is 250, and you'd get C is equal to 250.